go. What is up, Unemployed Nation? Okay, today, I don't even know what I've got planned. Um, but I do know that I wanna go see if uh, the letter's been taken off the RX-7, see if the owner's seen it. And also, it rained all night. So I wanna go check the condition of the letter and make sure it's not damaged. So let's go do that first. And then uh, we'll figure something out from there. Um... Okay, nope, stop, I forgot. Uh, before we go anywhere, I actually, we've got to check uh, what type of CAS I have on my car. Because with the 33s and Series 2s and stuff, the, I don't know, Nissan decided to use diff two different types of CASs. Anyways, long story short, we're not sure which one's on my car. So we're gonna take that off real quick. Get a couple pictures of the cam gear and the cam, just making sure that the cams that I'm getting from Tomei that they're sending me are gonna be the correct ones. So let's uh, skip to that. Okay, so I seriously really badly want like a chest mount or something for this G7X, because that would just make life so much easier for two hands. Um, so I'm gonna try and take the cas off without taking this pipe off, which I think is doable. I think we'll be right, we'll figure it out, we'll, we'll, we'll learn, let's all come along for a journey. Um, but the biggest thing is, is we need to make sure that the little marker in there that I have that you can't see, okay, or you can kind of see the red marker there. So I might go get a pen real quick and just make a marker on the side there, just so uh, we put it back in the same position. Okay, so I'm removing this CAS now, and uh, it just started raining again, so how about everyone sing with me here? Let's all, let's all sing a song while I get this CAS off, yeah? Um, uh, my mind's gone blank. I can't even think of a song. How about you guys suggest a song in the comment section? I think that'll make it funner. Okay, cool. So two more bolts. We'll speed this up. Go from there. And there we go, all back on there. I got my picture to send to Tomei so that I can get the right cams, which may or may not be happening tomorrow. We'll find out. Let's make sure the car still starts, that everything's still in the right timing. I marked everything, so it shouldn't shouldn't be an issue, but let's find out. Yeah, no problem. She's purring like a kitten again. Well, kind of like a really rough kitten, but uh, <laughs> anyways, gonna put my tools back in the boot and then uh, we'll, uh, Go check out and see if the owner's found that note on the RX-7 yet. Okay, so there's the RX-7. Let's just see as we drive past it. Is the letter still on the back windscreen? Yes, it is, it is. It's still there and it's in its bag. You guys thought I didn't put it in a bag, which, well, I didn't, if I was honest, I didn't. I saw you guys commenting about it and I was like, you know what, you guys are totally right. It's gonna rain and the letter's gonna get destroyed. So I, uh, I went out like literally that night and put it in a sandwich like Ziploc bag. Damn. There used to be a house there, and it's completely gone now. Man, if there's something that they're really good at here in Japan is demolishing and rebuilding houses so quickly that you thought were impossible. Anyways, we are going to do something now. Um, I'm not entirely sure yet. Let's find out. When in doubt and you have no idea where you need to go, start off with a Starbucks coffee, I say. Hey, you got those emeralds? The car gods have answered our prayers, guys. I was literally just like driving around aimlessly, pretty much heading home, trying to work out what to do. And then the PO box guys called me up and said, hey Sam, um, a fairly large package has arrived for you. And uh, I mean, I can't install this on the car today, but I don't want to give too much away, but we are definitely bringing Underglo back with this, uh, this package here. It's another sponsorship thing, so it's a whole video in itself. So fingers crossed that the weather's good tomorrow and we can install it, because I'm so pumped. All right, I want to see everyone, hashtag un bring Underglow back in the comments be and, and pray for good weather. And also, we need more prayers for that uh, RX-7 to happen too. That th th I mean, it's been like, what, four days now or so and the owner hasn't, uh, hasn't taken the letter? Hmm. This couldn't get any worse. Like, I don't even know how this happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, um, I guess I'll clean the car first and then I'll put that in the bin, but... Let's go to Starbucks again. Okay, so I'm outside right now. It's actually like nearly 9 p.m. Uh, I cleaned up the coffee in the car and then what I ended up doing was doing a stream with you guys, hanging out, playing some Forza Horizons 4. Uh, Forza. Forza, I think. It's not Forza. What am I doing? Forza Horizon 4. And um, got myself a nice 
emerald uh, mountain blend. Anyways, May called me and was like, yo, I'm just about to get home from work. Let's meet at the shop, work out what we're gonna do for dinner. So that's what I'm doing, walking outside right now. And the umbrella, it's raining. Yeah. Today's been one of those kind of like in-between days where it's been super chill, nothing's really happened, um, but we got a lot of things sorted out for tomorrow, the day after, and the rest of the week, and everything's all set up now. The weather's gonna be good tomorrow. Install videos, upgrading the skyline, it's gonna be sick. So anyways, I'm gonna catch up with May wherever she is. We'll go from there. Okay, so we're in the store right now, and that is May, all the way up there. May, there she is. Cool. So anyways, but we're looking at this thing. This is kind of cool. So this is like a special oven for drying out fish here in Japan. Like people eat this kind of stuff for breakfast, right? And it's all dried out. So what they do is they fillet it fresh in the salmon and everything down there. They put it in this overnight and then uh, you get it in the morning. So it normally looks like that, right? Yeah, but they put it in there and then they turn it into the dried stuff, which ends up looking like this kind of thing. I'm sure May will know. Babe, those are dried fish things. Is that mainly for like people when they eat breakfast? White one. Yeah. Doesn't have to be breakfast. Doesn't have to be breakfast, can be any meal. Yeah. Okay. And you put soy sauce on top. Mm hmm With like a little bit of daikon or radish. Isn't that like that white stuff that gets grinded up? No, no thinking. I'm thinking of something else? Yes. Okay. I'm just going by that breakfast we had that time at that expensive uh, hotel at Hakone. Ah. When you were sick. Yeah, that one. I was very sick that day. It, it, it wasn't fun. It was supposed to be like a date weekend and I was sick the entire time. But it was still cool because we got to have um, like hot spa offerors outside. Like literally the, the hot spring bath was outside on the veranda and you got to sit in there naked and look at the beautiful rivers and stuff. It was cool. We should do that again. Hakune. I can hit the toge and you can soak in the outside bath. No, you're not hitting the toge. No, rip guys. What is that? It looks too big to be red bean. They're red beans. That's red beans? They're so big. Kintoki. Kintoki? 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 Yeah, Kintoki. Kintoki. Kintoki, Kintoki. Gin, kin. 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 Kintoki. What's that kanji? Amai. Amai. Oh, sweet. There you go. So if a girl has that on her, she's very sweet. Okay, so I'm back home and I figured, you know what? I don't want to be a massive tease. So, we're going to take a quick peek of what's inside this for tomorrow's video. Get you guys hyped up. See if I can get... Damn it! Vlog life, one-handed. Oh, there we go, we got a hole there. Now we can just elongate that somehow. Is there anything cool in there? Can you see anything? Oh, it's just a brown box. Okay, well... Uh, let me try and rip this open and hulk it a little bit. Okay, I got the Stanley knife out. Let's cut this bad boy open with my left hand. That sounds like a great idea. Um, also, don't freak out. I'm not showing you guys my address, so you can't dox me. This is my P.O. Box address. So if any of you guys want to send me anything, send it to this address. Um, if you also don't know, the address is generally in the bottom of the description of all my videos. And if it's not there, it's in the about section on the channel. You know what? This is probably very dangerous. I'm just going to keep my hand there and just try to... Yep. Yep. This is... If, if a vlogger ever dies or like cuts himself, this is why. Holding one camera... Holding the camera in one hand and a knife in the other trying to do a box opening on a video. This, this is a bad idea, y'all. This is a very bad idea. All right. Oh, yes. Yes. Dun 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 dun. Mini RGB LED rock light. Oh, rocks. There it is. There it is. I don't, I don't really know what's going on, but this is going to be interesting. Hopefully, this works on my car. I mean, it is kind of four wheel drive spec, ABC spec, right? So it should be sweet. But uh, yeah, you guys will have to find out in the next video where this kit came from. Does it even have the brand name on here? It doesn't, does it? Ha! <laughs> There you go. That's funny. But it's all Cree LEDs, full RGB, and you control it with Bluetooth on your iPhone, and you can light up the whole bottom of your car. I guess the example car is a four-wheel drive. We keep spinning this around, I know. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be fine. It'll look sick on my car, because what we can do is just stagger the setup and uh, light up everything. But uh, that's pretty much my car. That's like the height my car's at anyway, so that's fine. Ebisu spec, yo. Cool. Okay, so I hope you guys are excited and in the spirit of Underglow. We got the uh, the underglow on in the backdrop there, which we mainly use for live stream, but it's super cool because we can just like change the color here with the remote, all the different colors. It's super fun. 
Um, but yeah, I'm just really keen for the car getting underglow. I've always talked about bringing underglow back. And I've always wanted to put a kit on the 33.4 and I just think it's absolutely awesome that a company found out that I was saying that and wanted to sponsor me a kit for the car, which is just absolutely awesome. And the fact that it works with your mobile phone, full RGB and all that and cool effects and things you can do with that. I'm pretty pumped and excited. Um, but yeah, guys, want to see some excitement in the chat? You know what to do. Hashtag bring underglow back. It's happening. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be the next video or the video after because there's a lot of things uh, that have arrived that I've got to put on the car and the weather looks like it's going to be amazing tomorrow. So we're definitely going to be doing some stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess that's that about wraps it up. Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. It's like 2am. I need to go to bed. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao, Martine.